Dryandra. Um, so we are at the Nalamia campground and it's really beautiful. All the grounds are quite, or all the sites are quite spaced out, which is really nice, and you're kind of all looking out into the beautiful bushland here. That does feel quite private. Um, but tip number one if you are swag camping, I would highly recommend that you use a tarp underneath your swag. Tarp is just going to protect you from any excessive wear so your swags generally should last you like a good 10 years or so or even more like if you are using it but that bottom base it can get worn away and you can get holes and stuff like that in it so using a tarp is just protecting it for the longevity of your swag. So that is tip number one always try and use a tarp underneath your swag so yes using a tarp is definitely going to protect your swag from getting dirty as well so then that just helps with the pack up of a camp um, especially if you're camping with a bunch of mates and you're hungover in the morning you don't want to be packing up a dirty swag so hot tip use a tarp
All right, so camping in a swag tip number two is all of your swags come with a really thick mattress. So when you actually roll them up um, for storage, they're actually really big and bulky. So one of my tips is to actually take the mattress out and then it's actually gonna be a lot more compact and a lot smaller. So for me personally, we only really use this swag if either Simon's camping by himself or I'm camping by myself. Um, so yeah, if we, we both camp together, we'll take our big RV4 that we've got. But yeah, if we're just solo, then yeah, we like to take the swag. So Simon, it's totally fine for him because he's got a ute, so he can roll it up with the mattress. You know, size and space is an issue for him. But for me, I've got an SUV, so I like to camp with minimal items. I don't like to take too much away with me. And one of my little, yeah, camping tips for a swag is if you have a smaller vehicle, take the mattress out, buy another mattress. And at the moment I'm using a Denali, which is one of these self-inflatable, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, Denali. I'm using the Long Trek version. And it's a, yeah, slightly thinner mattress. It rolls up, self-inflates and it's so much smaller. So when I'm packing the swag up, I actually fold it in half and then roll it up. So it's a lot smaller and a lot more compact. And I've just found that to be an absolute game changer. So if you've been on the fence about buying a swag because of how big and bulky they are, just remember you don't have to um, use that mattress that comes with it. So yeah, there you go. There's my tip number two for camping in a swag. Oh, no, seriously, how beautiful is this place? It is so nice. And yeah, quite a bit of privacy between campsites. And this is the beauty of having a swag, is you can organize getting away on these, you know, little weekend trips and swags are just so, so useful for this kind of camping. You don't need all the gear, you don't need all the expensive things to have an awesome camping experience. All you need is the you know, half decent swag, a few bits and pieces. If you do need a list of things that you need to go camping with, I have a blog post and also a minimal camping list uh, on YouTube as well. So I'll link that video up here somewhere. But, well, I am not gonna lie, I'm impressed with my first attempt at doing a fire. <laughs> it just needs to stay now. Just hope it actually keeps. Um, we've got some good embers and some coals happening, so yeah, let's hope it doesn't go out and I have to start again. And special thanks to my husband who actually chopped a whole bag of wood for me because I don't trust myself with an axe. So he bought a bag of firewood for me, chopped it up and gave it to me all chopped. I am so lucky. <laughs> Birds are so noisy this morning. <laughs> All right, tip number three for swag camping. And this is our final tip. Um, and it's something I do forget quite often as well. So here we go. It's a reminder for me too, is when you're swag camping, it's, it's a smaller confined area and you generally have things up against the walls of your swag, but that is a no, no, because you're always going to get dew on a tent or covering a swag in the morning, because when you're camping in the, in the bush or on the ocean, you know, these cooler places at night, everything gets quite dewy and damp in the mornings so anything that's up against your swag at night is going to get wet so you always just have to remember before you go to bed just to take things 
or move things away from the actual walls of your swag so you don't get a wet jumper and a wet bag and a wet blanket in the morning <laughs> so yes that's our final tip for swag camping um, in the beautiful Dryandra woodlands Escape.